Hello everyone, and welcome back to Star Stable Online, where Rose Stone and I are flabbergasted, flabbergasted, I say, because Thistledown and Twilight the bunnies have eloped! They have left us for an elopement, my friends. That is right. It turns out that while Rose Stone and I were setting up amongst all of the beautiful roses of the Yorvik open house, Thistledown and Twilight fell deeply in love and decided to elope. So they are currently off celebrating their marriage in Mistfall, and I'm not exactly sure when we will see Thistledown or when we will see Twilight again. But I really hope it won't be too terribly long. They did leave a beautiful bouquet of roses in Rose Stone's saddlebag. And I mean, Rose Stone and Thistledown, they're like, like, like bread and butter. They're like me and lettuce. Uh, they, they just belong together. So I'm sure that this is just a little bit of a honeymoon and that they will be back in no time. But needless to say, Rose Stone is slightly perpetuated. Like perpetuated? What the heck? I am the one who's perpetuated. <laughs> She is slightly perplexed, there we go, by the situation, and she is going to um, actually stay here to kind of gather herself and, and think about the oddity of having her best friend no longer by her side while trying to really cheer him on for his wedding to the bunny of his life. So, yeah, this is, this is a bit of a change in plans, but, well, I'm sure Rose Stone will be all right. All right, there you go, darling. Let's go ahead and maybe sort all my horses so that she'll she'll be able to just relax. She has had quite the uh, long day after all. So we're going to let Rose Stone relax. And we, my friends, are going to begin the difficult task of carrying on the main quest. Not usually difficult for many of you, you might say, but slightly difficult for me because I am easily distracted and there are shiny, glorious clothes popping up every single week with all of these new quests. However, I have bitten the bullet. I have taken time into my own hands, twisted it around, and we are going to go ahead and carry on with the main quest in Valdel. And if Rose Stone is too distressed to come with us, then we're going to go ahead and invite a secret buster with Silver Secret, who, with his loyal canine companion, has been one to uh, bust many a secret before. He is also level 10, so hopefully he will be able to take us very swiftly from place to place as we bring down GED's nefarious polluting of the lake above Valdel. And I'm sure that his little... Uh, I think Copper? Is that your name? For crying out loud, why can't I keep the saddle pet name straight? But I'm sure that his wonderful canine companion is quite curious. And in fact, you know what? Somebody actually on our wiki, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to make sure I, I, I should feel worse for this. <laughs> but there's so many saddle pets. I love them very much. And that is why, let's see, secret... Dandy! Dandy, how could I? I'm sorry, Dandy. And I was calling you Copper, and I'm sure we, I know we have a puppy Copper. That's okay. It's like, it's like when a mom, my mom used to yell, like, for us and always call us by the wrong name. It's just the same thing, guys. But I'm sorry, Dandy. So Dandy and Silver Secret, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Are going to join us as we figure out what's going on up in the mountains of Valdel, and I should probably change out of my fancy coat while we do it. But actually, if we're going up in the mountains, my Easter witch outfit might be a really good fit, to be honest, and brown druid shoes. Yeah, this looks like somebody that you would expect to find in the mountains, right? Wow, I love this Easter witch outfit. <laughs> but all right, let's go ahead and begin by going over to Valdel. And speaking with Avalon, he did tell us the secret password a very long time ago, but I'm afraid I have uh, forgotten. So we're going to pop over there and see what he's doing. So let's see. Valdel Village. On we go. And we'll have to see how Silver Secret and Dandy's personalities play out as we finally tackle some of the main quest. I am so excited. We're doing this. We're... Oh! Oh, I forgot just how terrible it looks. Wow, coming here at night actually really helps to show just how polluted that that waterfall has become, guys. Like, seriously, look at that. 
you could really see that there is it, it needs us it needs our help for sure it doesn't look quite so bad you could almost think it was just algae but then you look at it at night yeah we need to be here to solve this this is just this is this is it's immediately got silver secrets nostrils flaring he is determined to go ahead and be able to figure out how how he can solve this mystery he's big on mysteries this horse okay uh Hello, Saga. We're lucky. I managed to catch the password. It's Sandman. Now you can pretend you are working for Dark Core when you enter that area up there. One more thing. The crystal you found is definitely Pandoric. If Dark Core uses these crystals, it's no surprise that the water is becoming contaminated. You need to stop them, whatever it is they are doing. Good luck, Saga. Thank you very much, Avalon. All right. And I know that Silver Secret is immediately, like, ears up, hooves at the ready, he wants to get to the bottom of this too. Let's just go ahead and be quick about it because he's our detective, Silver Secret. When he really sort of sinks his, his hooves, his teeth really, being bitten by a horse, very much painful. <laughs> so he could sink his teeth into something quite adamantly. But when he wants to sink his teeth into something, he just wants to go. So let's do this. Valdel Lake, upward. And we can go ahead and gather our ourselves and try to prepare. Oh, Silver Secret, I already forgot the password. <laughs> was it was it Poodles? I know it wasn't Poodles, but for some reason I have already forgotten the darn password. <gasps> Siri, why are you a goose? Why why couldn't the password be goose? I would have never forgotten it then. No wonder it's taken me so long to get things done. I'm so distracted by like the pretty ferns. All right, let's see. Man, that looks bad. Can I get another glimpse? Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. That definitely needs fixed, for sure. And Silver Secret, you are going to be the hero to help us out. So, oh, wow, that looks amazing in a bad way. Very cool picture, though, Silver Secret. That's what they'll splash across the front of the newspapers as they say, The detective horse strikes again and has taken down the nefarious Dark Core. <clears throat> Sandman, that's right. You seem awful young to be working for Dark Core. You sure you should be here? You better ride up to the boss up there in the mountain. I'm just a guard. Follow the road and you'll find him. Get going. <gasps> okay, we're on our way, guys. This is exactly the kind of detective work that Silver Secret is built for. Look at this path. The view of the lake is beautiful, but not if they continue to destroy that that water. I'm so glad that we were able to at least get the lake kind of working again and the fish returned to it. That was amazing to go on that fishing expedition and try to find a specific species of fish to help take care of this lake. It meant a lot to see that kind of reference to ecology to me. Oh, oh wow, we're going straight over to the top of the waterfall. I tried to scale up this like a billy goat a while ago, and uh, I really didn't get very far. Oh, <clears throat> yes. Carry on, fellow GED grunt. All right. Oh my gosh. Um. Silver Secret? We may have stepped into something much bigger than I thought we were. Just saying. This is looking a little bit more dramatic. Alright. We got this, guys. What do you want to bet the boss is a certain... F no! Oh, whoa. So, so, are you going, uh, you are going to start working here? You don't look like any worker I've seen, but I guess you can help with some of the smaller jobs that I need done. No complaining, or I'll get the boot on the spot. Uh... Listen up, kiddo. Our huge drilling machine needs to be oiled. I would do it myself if it wasn't so boring, but now I've got you to do it instead. Ha! Take this oil and lubricate the mar machine's mark spots. Use plenty of oil. And no whining or I'll kick you off the mountain so fast you won't know it hit you. And then 
Listen up, kiddo. When we drill in the mountain, there's lots of waste that needs to be taken care of. It's a drag, and you also have this honor, too. Take the shovel and get started on the pile of waste over there. And no funny business. Remember, I'll be watching you. Hmm. Hmm. Come here, you little monkey. I'm starting to get hungry. Get my lunch from the cooler over there. Hurry up, I'm starving. Hmm. Too bad I don't... <laughs> are some of the plants that are, like, attached to my... Uh, little patch down, pouch down here. Perhaps one where I could just like knock him out, <laughs> make him just fall asleep. Uh, let's see, what are these? What are they? Just a bunch of waste from the drilling. It almost looks radioactive, but if it's Pandoric energy, and I wonder if this has anything to do with what's going on in the valley of the hidden dinosaur. All right, let's see. He's watching us. Maybe if we study this, we can figure out how we could possibly sabotage all of this. All right, there's that. We'll drag the waste to this big giant pile over here. Oh, whoa, I only threw away some of it. Holy cow, there's a lot of waste, actually. Okay, the waste is now thrown away. And let's grab this. Okay, you know what? I don't want to distract him. Maybe I can knock him out with whatever. <laughs> there we go. I got his lunch. Hmm. Smells so-so. Okay. It smelled bad? Ha ha! I know, it's not great. It's great not having to do it anymore. Heavy work, right? And <laughs> no whining. <gasps> Horse meat sandwich! Okay, what do y'all say? I just kind of like gently let him have a water ride down the waterfall, huh? Huh? Hmm, maybe you aren't completely worthless after all. I have an important job for you. I I'm kind of completely, this particular vegan is very disturbed by you, buddy. I can't trust these other fools. Look here, it's an important report from Mr. Sand this, that de details our progress here. When he sees this report, he's going to promote me right away. You'll have to uh, you'll have seen that this green crystal we drilled twice, um, you'll have seen that with this green crystal, we have drilled twice as fast as we did before. The water turns green? Yeah, I know, but who cares? Killing the environment? What a laugh. Here's the report. Ride down as fast as you can to our base at Moreland Beach so that my colleagues can get to Mr. Sands. And don't dilly-dally. Hmm, I think I'll take this to Avalon instead. Oh, that's me, all right. All right, guys. So we're going to take this to Avalon instead as quickly as possible, which means that yes, Silver Secret <laughs> is going to take... Okay, we're going to actually say every time we kind of like rapid transit ourselves around that Silver Secret is actually taking some special like back roads because I think that that makes a lot of sense for him. And let's go to Valdel Village so we can... I, I mean, this is environmental catastrophe. We don't really have time to wait as it is. But I also love the idea that every time we take the trailer, it's actually a silver secret using some sort of secret way uh, to like wiggle around and convince people to like, uh, like flagging down different cars. Maybe he managed to sneak onto a trailer of a transport that was leaving the area. He's just a very clever horse. So I, I love the idea that instead of like jumping in horse trailers, he's actually finding back paths and secret ways to be able to wiggle through a lot faster. Whoops, not the egg hunt. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, Avalon. Saga, great that you're here. I've done a full analysis of the river water, and I can see signs that the environment around the river is beginning to die. That's... that's right. You got inside the Dark Core roadblock. Did you find anything? A report? Let me see. Hmm. It's encrypted, but I think I can decipher it. It will take some time, though. Come back tomorrow. Hmm. 
Hmm. So then we're going to take a fake report to Mr. Sands, it seems. But all right, my friends, as I said, uh, Silver Secret is not one to remain patient. So I have a feeling that with a quick catnap over in the barn in Valdel, he'll be ready to go again. So I'm going to go ahead and have a quick nap with him. We are going to possibly do a quick race because he no doubt gained a lot of experience figuring out how to billy goat down that mountain so fast. And then we will continue on with Avalon doing our best to stop this terrible catastrophe from happening so all right if you guys could do please leave a like for silver secret and dandy who is definitely our detective puppy in this situation if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures you guys know what to do go ahead and subscribe and most importantly of course stay curious find joy be kind to each other and uh you know be creative have some fun with life I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.